You're alive, and you restarted the generator. I'm guessing you had to turn everything off in order to reboot it. Yeah, thanks for that. We were stuck in there during the whole time. Wow. You took care of all these motherfuckers by yourself? Jesus, man. We should have sent you here alone. Can't believe you made me swim through all that shit for nothing. It seems to be running stable. The radio got busted in the water, so there's no way to contact the others. And I'm pretty sure they got the message. Oh, I'm sure they did. Although I do wonder if turning off all the power was a good idea. I'm aware you had no choice, but the entire base was out of power during the rebooting sequence. Let's hope nothing bad happened up there. Being a nice dump you lived in. Eh, it wasn't that bad. But I always managed to put myself into crappy situations. Just like I always managed to get myself out. The problem is, Junior always gets involved in my shit. And he really can't deal with it. That's right. You told me about that. How he follows you everywhere like a little puppy. Yeah. I had to leave the Rangers regiment after he got transferred in with me. I just can't go into battle knowing I gotta take care of him and shit. Man, poor Malcolm. I swear, if I ever catch the son of a bitch that got him, I'm gonna stick my gun so far up his ass that that bullet will just come straight out his mouth when I shoot. And I'd pay to see that. Now let's get moving. What the hell?
Go left. Clear. Clear. What the hell is that chopper doing here? I don't know, but we're gonna take it. Oh, really? Are you looking forward to crashing it on the fucking ceiling? Even if the gate was opened, Terry is the only one who can pilot a helicopter. Yeah, I know. But that's not my concern right now. My concern is who brought it down here and where are they? We have to let the others know. What the fuck? Take point. I think I know who. Come on, we gotta go. Jake, get this door open. We just got here, Ben. We did not start shooting at you. What? Then who did? Probably those piles of meat lying here on the floor. What? What happened? Yo, can we come out of cover without getting shot now? My legs are getting tired here. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Just come, just come out. Lip and neck. What happened to those guys? Junior? What the? Talk to me, Terry. He's all right, no organs were hit. The bullet went in and out, he'll be fine. Oh, I see all blurry. And, and what is this bell ringing? That would be the morphine. Just try and get some rest. What the fuck happened, man? I went down there on my own, you know, not telling you so you wouldn't follow me. This happens? What, what the fuck did I do wrong, man? It's okay, Brian. It's gonna be okay. And what the fuck happened to those guys, goddammit? What did I miss? Takeo? I thought you were dead. Where the hell were you? Takeo! Tell us what happened. I went to investigate a noise, got in trouble, dealt with it, and when I came back, you were gone. Alright, alright. So what was the noise you heard? A very angry Russian, with a very big knife. What? That's Igor. Who? He's the butcher from the North Wing, Victor's brother. We kept them apart because they fought all the time. Even got some guards injured once. We couldn't stop them, so Ito showed up and smashed his face on the table. Cracked open his skull. Do you mean... Masahiro? Yeah, Commander Ito. When he did that, when Victor saw his big brother like that, something snapped. He became docile as a kitten. And he never got into trouble again. As for Igor, he didn't die. But they had to install a metal plate into his head. The skull was fractured. Oi, guys! Can you come over here a second? What is it, Ben? Well, I don't know how I did it, but somehow I've managed to plug myself into the security network. It was easy as pie, really. Uh, I've got access to most of the cameras here, uh, some useless logs, and some very interesting security reports. Some things we didn't even have any idea about. Oh, wow. Like what? 
Well, did you guys ever wonder how the automatic doors on the upper floors work? <laughs> you won't believe it. With our shoes. What? That's right, in everyone's shoes there's a chip. When you press the button, the automatic doors detect the chip and opens the door depending on your security clearance. All right, and if there's no chip, well, the door doesn't open. That's ridiculous. Yeah, but the point is that nobody's supposed to know this. You just wear your uniform and the door just magically opens to you. It explains a lot of things, actually. I even found all of our files and... Wait, there is more. What is this? Code red. Oh, no. What does it mean, Terry? Code red. Uh, not again. What do you mean? I've been working for this company for 12 years. This isn't the only facility they have. There was another one. What do you mean, another one? Another place like this? Yeah. I used to work at both places. Spent a week there, a week here. Training personnel, updating security measures, signing new contracts and checking everything. I was one of the few allowed to go to the surface. Even then I was rather restrained from one entrance to the other. But that's part of the job. Everything was fine until Code Red. So what is Code Red? It's a direct order to everyone above security clearance three to, to disable everyone below that security clearance. Disable? What the fuck? Oh my god, he's right. Okay, according to this, inmates have different clearance levels. Okay, the code red specifies to disable every low-level inmate, every low-level scientist, every low-level security guard. That's us! What the f- Why was the code red given at the other facility? There was this strange infection. People started displaying necrosis and were literally rotting alive. It was contagious and spread fast, really fast. The first way they found to stop the infection was to kill the carriers. And so they did, hoping the scientists would find a solution quickly. But days passed, weeks and still no cure. Everyone was confused who was infected and who wasn't. A regular cough and they'd put you down until everyone became paranoid started killing each other. It was a massacre. A war zone. Among the chaos, some of the personnel managed to escape the complex. The local security couldn't contain the situation. That's when they called Ito. He called some friends and other PMCs, brought an entire army, and started cleaning in the good old shoot first, ask later fashion. The scientists had at least made progress on one thing. They discovered that some people were immune, and since there was no easy way of finding out who was infected and who wasn't, Ito thought it would be a good idea to start gassing people with the virus so that they could study the survivors and make a cure, using them as lab rats. Ito had his claws in everything. He was cleaning the place, looking for a cure, and tracking down runaways far away from the complex, capturing or shooting them on sight. It was big, very big. The media was all over it, everyone was afraid. A terrorist attack, they said. Hostage takers spreading chaos. The bigger the lie, the more people will believe it. And you survived that? I was above level three. There was nothing I could do except keep my gas mask on, follow my orders, and try not to get shot by a paranoid squad mate. So it's the same virus? Well, I don't know. It looks like it. I mean, back then we burned all the bodies as soon as they died from the infection. There's no way of knowing what would happen after they died. You said Ito was looking for a cure. Did he find one? Yeah, he found a cure. His cure was to wipe everyone out, pretty much the entire infected personnel. They didn't find an antidote, but they found a way to identify infected people. They just tested everyone and killed all the positives. So with that code red in effect, we have those things and the soldiers from the base against us? Well, technically, those things are not with the soldiers either. Which means that if we just stay here, they'll kill each other. So what? What about getting out of here? The opportunity to secure ourselves against defeat lies in our own hands. But the opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. The art of war. Exactly. We might as well establish an HQ here. We have food, weapons, equipment, and more importantly, we have eyes, thanks to Ben and the network. 
We should stay on this level, observe the situation around, and establish a strategy to effectively escape. And only move when we're ready. Whoa, hey, look! Where is that? They're on this floor, the northeast wing. We can't help them. We need to clean this place and fortify the entrances. Make a barricade we can easily lift from the inside and ration our supplies. If we go out now and prepared with a wounded man, we won't make it far. He's right. Matthew and Takeo, why don't you clean the place and work on the barricade? I'll take care of those supplies. And Ben, you keep watching the monitors and tell us if you see anything. Brian, Jake, you're gonna get those people and bring them here. I ain't leaving my brother right now. Jake can take care of himself. He did everything on his own down there. So you're gonna let him go out there alone? Takeo was out there for over two hours on his own, and he's still in one piece. I met an old man. He helped me find my way back here through the vents. I don't fool still alive and kicking, huh? All right, all right. Jake, you scout ahead and try and find where those survivors are. Bring them back here. If you need ammo or supplies, or if you need to rest, just come back here and we'll let you in. If you find anyone else on your way, just bring them back here. All right? I'm just gonna keep digging into these servers, see what I can find about this place that might help us. Seriously, man. I thought that if I went down there and did what needed to be done, he'd be safe. But now I realize the only way I can keep him safe is by staying is with him. I wish I could come with you to back you up, man. But I ain't leaving him again. I'm sorry. Shouldn't you be doing something? Hey, what's up? You got any good news? Thank <laughs> you. 